Hey what's happening guys this is Shukesh and today I have for you a very interesting battery charging speed test in between all these premium smartphones here and this video is basically a follow up to my previous upload where I have compared the Pixel iPhone 7 and OnePlus 3. This time I have added the all new OnePlus 3T and Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Let me quickly introduce these phones here. First of all you have the iPhone 7 then the Google Pixel, this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 and this device is basically the all new OnePlus 3T. This is the older OnePlus 3 and there you have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The last device will be used as a stopwatch. Let me now quickly go through the charging adapters you get with all these phones. First of all, this is the adapter with iPhone 7 and surprisingly you get just a 5 volt 1 ampere adapter with 5 watt rating and if you are coming from iPhone 6s then you will be totally annoyed with this adapter. Next this one is for Google Pixel and it's a fast charger with 5V 3A and 9V 2A rating that is 18W maximum so really impressive. The Samsung smartphones here also supports quick charging and the rating as you can see is 9V 1.67A and 5V 2A that is 15W maximum and of course you get the same adapter for S7 and S7 Edge. Lastly we have the amazing dash charger for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T with 5V and 4A rating that is 20W which is totally crazy and this is by far the best or one of the best adapters for smartphone at this moment. These adapters are I think one of the biggest reasons to go for the OnePlus flagships. I will also compare the heat management of these smartphones while charging. So without any further ado let's get started and I want to quickly mention that all these phones here are switched off with 0% battery level, they are in flight mode with Wi-Fi location off, there is no SIM card, the brightness levels are almost at the same level, there is no app running in the background, the rotation is also off and I have also disabled all the smart add-on features like always on display, ambient display, gesture support, edge screen features, smart alerts, smart stay etc. There you go the cables are connected so let's turn on the devices and check which offers the fastest charging speed and at the end of this video I will show you a line graph so that you can get a better idea about the charging speed of these premium smartphones. As you can see the phones have started charging and I'm really curious to see how does the all new OnePlus 3T performs here. Let's start the stopwatch and I will come back after 5 minutes. It's almost 5 minutes so let's turn on the devices and check the battery levels. As you know iPhone starts automatically and let me quickly mention the battery sizes. You have a 1960 mAh battery with the iPhone 7. Google Pixel packs a bigger 2770 mAh battery. The battery rating of the Galaxy S7 is 3000 mAh. With the OnePlus 3T you have a decent 3400 mAh battery, OnePlus 3 sports a 3000 mAh battery, last but not the least you have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with the biggest battery here of 3600 mAh. There you go all these phones are on and as you can see I have set the same wallpaper as well. Let's quickly now show you the battery status. First of all you have 5% battery level on iPhone 7, 10% on Pixel, 12% on the S7, again 12% on OnePlus 3T, well just turned 13%. The battery level of OnePlus 3 is amazing 16% and you have 9% battery on the S7 Edge. I should mention here the battery status of iPhone 7 is currently 6% and you have 13% battery on the S7. 11% on the Pixel as well and also 17% on the OnePlus 3. 3T also just turned 14%. So obviously OnePlus 3 is leading and the most interesting part is considering the battery size also OnePlus 3 is much quicker than 3T. S7 Edge is also faster than Pixel and the performance of the iPhone 7 is really very poor. Now let's switch off the displays and I will come back at the 20 minutes mark. Stay tuned. Well it's almost 20 minutes on the timer so let's check the battery status. 
So after 20 minutes you have 16% battery on iPhone 7, 25% on Pixel, 31% on S7, 35% on OnePlus 3, 42% on OnePlus 3 and 21% on S7 Edge. Pixel is also now at 26%. So within just 12 minutes, the battery level increased by 25% on the OnePlus 3, 21% on the 3T which has a bigger battery, but the actual amount of battery charged is 714 mAh, so again slower than its predecessor with 750 mAh. The same thing happened for S7 and S7 Edge because bigger battery usually takes much longer time than usual. Google Pixel here is slower than other devices except for the iPhone 7 which is not even close. Now let's switch off the displays and I will come back after 10 minutes. As I promised before I will check the temperature and as you can see iPhone 7 is really very cool as the charging speed is very slow. Pixel is at 36 degree which I will say slightly hot. S7 is at 34 degrees Celsius, well 35 maximum, OnePlus 3T is 34 degrees Celsius hot, then OnePlus 3 is at 35 degrees Celsius, so slightly hotter than the 3T. Lastly we have the S7 Edge which is really very cool at 33 or 34 degrees Celsius. So thanks to the slower adapter iPhone 7 is the coolest here. Guys, I'm back so let's check the batteries again. Right now the battery percentage on the iPhone 7 is 25, on the Pixel you have 39% battery, on the S7 it's 46%, 3T at 53, OnePlus 3 at 64 and S7 Edge is at 32%. Let's now talk about the change in battery percentage and the same pattern is maintained actually. OnePlus 3 is just outstanding, so if you're running out of juice, you can charge the device to 65% within half an hour which is totally crazy. I have used OnePlus 3 for 4 months and then switched to iPhone 7 and Pixel. I have to admit here, I do miss the magic of the dash charger. It's 40 minutes on the timer, so let's check the batteries once again. Well, as you can see, iPhone 7 is at 34%, Pixel at 49, S7 at 61, OnePlus 3T at 72%, OnePlus 3 at 83 and S7 Edge at just 43% which is actually lower than expected. Interestingly, this time OnePlus 3T is actually ahead of OnePlus 3 in terms of battery milliamp hour because at higher battery levels, the battery charging speed actually decreases. Still, I don't see any kind of overheating, iPhone 7 is cool as usual and the Samsung devices are actually hotter than before. I will come back after 10 minutes and check the battery status. Well, now the battery on the iPhone 7 is 43%, you have 59% on the Pixel, 75 on S7, 84, well 85 on the OnePlus 3T, 93% on the OnePlus 3 and 53% battery level on the S7 Edge. It's worth mentioning that OnePlus 3T, S7 and even S7 Edge are much quicker than OnePlus 3 and iPhone 7 is really very consistent at 9% battery increase in every 10 minutes. So after 1 hour we have 53% on iPhone 7, 68% on Pixel, 87% on the S7, 92 on 3D, 97 on 3 and S7 Edge is at 63%. So there is huge drop in speed of OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T, S7 and S7 Edge are fastest at 360 mAh and Pixel is actually losing speed. On the contrary, iPhone 7 is faster than before. Well, OnePlus 3 just turned 100%, so it took around 1 hour and 10 minutes. Right now, OnePlus 3T is at 95%, S7 at 97%, so very impressive. Google Pixel at 78% and we have iPhone 7 at 61%. The percentage of battery on the S7 Edge is 73%. Well, the Galaxy S7 just turned 100%, so in this speed test, of course, OnePlus 3 is fast, S7 is at second position, you have OnePlus 3T at 97%, so quite slow at this higher battery level, iPhone 7 is stuck at 68%. 
pixel is at 86 and a 7 edge is at 81 percent it's been one and a half an hour and one plus 3t is still at 99 percent there you go the all new one plus 3t is fully charged and it took around one hour and 31 minutes 20 minutes more than one plus three S7 Edge and Pixel are also catching up at 92 and 94%. iPhone 7's battery is at 78%. After 1 hour and 40 minutes, you have 96% on S7 Edge, 97% on Pixel, and 85% on iPhone 7. So, S7 Edge is actually charging quicker than the Pixel. Guys, interestingly, both S7 Edge and Pixel turned 100% almost simultaneously. Pixel was few seconds quicker and considering the huge difference in battery size, obviously S7 Edge is quicker. After 1 hour and 50 minutes, let's check the battery status of iPhone 7 which is at 91%, so not that bad actually as it's very consistent. But as you know, after 90%, the battery charging speed will decrease drastically. Let me also quickly show you the OS versions of these phones. You have iOS 10.2 on iPhone 7, Android 7.1.1 on Pixel and rest of the devices are on Android 6.0.1 though it's worth noticing that the Oxygen OS version on the OnePlus 3T is actually the latest. There you have a line graph of the charging speed and thanks to rapidtables.com for this very easy to use tool. On the x-axis you have time in minutes and on the y-axis it's battery level in percentage. Now as I have shown you iPhone 7 is very consistent though it's very very slow. S7 Edge is also very consistent especially this part is a straight line because you have 10% battery increase in every 10 minutes in the mid range. Pixel is also almost parallel to S7 Edge. Now you must have already noticed this intersection while OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 3 are very fast at lower battery levels but if you go above 85% then OnePlus smartphones are actually much slower compared to Samsung devices. S7 just like S7 Edge is very consistent. So in this very interesting battery charging speed test, OnePlus phones outshined other smartphones. The dash charger is truly amazing. I am really disappointed with iPhone 7 and with a smaller battery and 18 watt adapter Google Pixel could have been better. Well friends that's all in this review, thanks a lot for watching. A battery discharge speed test is also on the way so make sure you are subscribed. I will drop the link in the description below so you can check that out. This is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day.